Colorectal cancer is one of the only truly preventable types of cancer. Everyone age 50 and older should be screened for colorectal cancer. That's the average risk category. Those who are at increased risk for colorectal cancer have a family history or personal history of polyps or colorectal cancer. Advanced risk and high risk are also people who have genetic syndromes as well as family syndromes. If you are at increased risk, you have to talk to your doctor well before 50 about screening. And of course, if you have any signs or symptoms, always talk to a healthcare provider as it might mean that you need to start screening also well before 50. it's really important to know which type of test is the best for you and your prevention strategy. Oftentimes we hear about people talking about prevention versus diagnostic test. And the diagnostic test is based on people having signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer. When we think of signs and symptoms, that can be blood in the stool, change in bowel habits, change in diet and appetite, as well as an unexplained weight loss of 10 or more pounds. We really have to think about colonoscopy for those folks. If you're at average risk and not in need of a diagnostic test, there are some great options to consider. Flexible sigmoidoscopy, also known as FlexSig, FIT and FOBT, CT colonography, also known as virtual colonoscopy, as well as a new blood test. It only looks at the lower part of the colon, but it also can detect cancer and remove polyps. It requires a special prep to clean the colon, and typically the Flexig is less invasive than a colonoscopy and does not require any anesthesia. One of the advantages of the stool test is that you can actually perform them in the privacy of your own home. For average risk population, there are also two types of stool tests. One is the FIT and FOBT, the other one is known as the stool DNA. For the FIT and FOBT, that is a test that can specifically detect cancer if there is bleeding as it does test for blood in the stool. The stool DNA test is a bit more sensitive and it will actually allow for looking at polyp or cancer detection based on the stool DNA and DNA and cellular level change. CT colonography is also a great screening tool, also known as a virtual colonoscopy. It can detect cancer, it can also detect polyps while completely viewing the entire colon. This type of test requires a bowel prep and a bowel cleanse beforehand, much like a colonoscopy, but it does not require the anesthesia. However, it is important to know that if anything abnormal is found, a colonoscopy will be required. For folks who are unable or unwilling to complete a colonoscopy or any of the other preventive options, including the fecal testing, blood tests can be a great option, specifically as it allows a very simple blood draw to test for DNA or cellular changes that can be attributed to a cancer or even for polyp. It's incredibly important to remember that all screening tests, if found any abnormalities or positive, will result in a follow-up colonoscopy to identify any cancer or remove polyps. With all of these options, there's no reason that you shouldn't get screened. Make an appointment and get screened today.